Hi and welcome. I'm Jisha, a self-taught painting artist. If you are a beginner and looking for help, you're at the right place. In this video, paint with me the sunset sky with dashing orange and blue. The supplies you will require are an 8x8 white canvas board, sky blue, titanium white, purple, cadmium red and neon orange. For the background I have taken sky blue, purple and titanium white. Blend the colors in. Ensure the top left side of the canvas has a bright blue color. Gradually bring down the tone of blue uh, for which you can use titanium white. Blend the colors in very well. For the sky, I'm going to start off with uh, all the light colors, the light yellow, the light orange and light purple. The idea is just to do the base of the cloud using these light colors. The next step is to add all the bright orange and red on top of this. The shape of the cloud can be anything, any random shape would work but just ensure that the base of the cloud is more denser and towards the top it should look more foggier. It's 
uh, hard to explain but as we progress in the tutorial you will get what i'm saying Time to add some bright colors. We'll start with bright orange. And some bright red. Blend them in really well. it with some bright yellow now i'm adding in some purple blend the colors in really well Let it sit for some time, 5 to 10 minutes, allow it to dry and then let's layer it with some more bright color and that is a trick of the cloud you know. Now adding in some bright yellow color, this time in upward strokes. Let's work on the base of the cloud. Here the cloud should look more denser. So more bright orange in upward strokes.
Similarly, I'm working on the other side. Here I'm adding in some bright red color. Again, the bottom portion, the base of the cloud should look denser. And adding another baby cloud here just with light orange and blue later we'll come back and add some bright orange here I'm gonna allow the clouds on the top to dry for a bit meanwhile I'm I'll do a cloud below here Here what I'm going to do is first I'm going to go in with red, white and red again. Take a bigger brush and blend them in really well. Some more intense red. Oh, this is turning into a brown. Adding in some more cadmium red to correct the mistake. Yeah, it looks better now. I'm going to blend in those harsh lines with some uh, orange, like tiny bit of orange. I allowed the whole thing to dry for about 5 minutes. It's not completely dry, somewhere there. Now I'm going to add in some cadmium red. I want to brighten up this, this corner. Some more neon orange and blending them in.
This should be my favorite part. This brush is a beauty blending brush. This is from Color Bar. Any brush of this sort would work. Just take a dry brush and run it through the colors in circular motion. Look at the magic it does. It gives that perfect foggy look to the cloud. I love it. The cloud on the top uh, looks completely dry and, and it looks a bit dull for me. So I'm adding in uh, some more highlights with bright orange and yellow. Now I'm going to do the land portion for which I've just used a uh, black. Maybe you can try a mountain or a tree or a lakeside. Using a dry fan brush, I'm going to do the bushes and the plants. Just pick up the color and, and do upward strokes to achieve this. Finishing it off with some more bright orange color clouds.
time to add the deer I'm just going through the outline that I've done before this is exactly how uh, the outline that we have done earlier helps us I'm giving a simple antler without much uh, branches in it. Thank you. Bye bye.